Uh, you join us on uh, the Asgard project. I'm here with Gareth Greve. Um, he's just clearing a few uh, footholds here for, for, for the plant. Hi, Gareth. Can we just uh, borrow you for a minute and just have a little chat? Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, what, what, what's the idea of this project? What, uh, you know, what, what, what's the idea? Why are you clearing it? What, 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 what's the idea? Um, well, just thinking that people who come back again and again, we've got another climb for them to use now. It's a bit more difficult. We're going to make it challenging. And yeah, going to put as much in as we can, but leave it as minimal as possible. Yeah. Why, why the Asgard? What, what's, what's with the name, the Asgard project? Uh, around Christmas time, uh, 2010, if you remember the weather, it was quite snowy. And I do icy. remember the weather, actually. We, uh, we thought that we'd come and clean this climb up, and we were here in the snow and the frost. And basically got very snowy, just a bit like... Uh, Famous climbers do on Baffin Island, but we're at Beethan <laughs> Island. So, Paul, to uh, today in this weather, does Asgard live up to its name? It does, yeah. Um, what are you going to understand about the Asgard is that um, you know things don't get their things don't get their name for for no reason. The Asgard has got its name because it's legendary, you know, and and. Uh, you know, just like Gareth's got his name because he's legendary. Um, the double G, you know. You've got to understand the Asgard was just a lump of rock, but now it's the Asgard. So, just remember that, alright? 